Shalom Chavri, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, the news that is breaking, coming out of Washington about Syria may very well be fulfilling yet another biblical prophecy. This time we're moving over to the book of Jeremiah and we're going to be looking at a prophecy specifically that regards Damascus but actually speaks about an evil report that will be spoken against the Syrian people and we may be seeing that prophecy fulfilled right now in this day that we're living in. Let's take a look first before we go to the prophecy. Let's look at the highlight of the news that's happening and then I'm going to share with you that prophecy and you'll see where I'm coming from. Because again, as I've stated over and over and over, I am for my people, the Israeli people, the Hebrew people. This is who I am as well, a, 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 an Israelite. All right. And so the thing is, I am against all of those that are against Israel. But the, but the problem that we are seeing, those that are truly against Israel are the very ones that are claiming to be her allies in many cases. Watch what we're going to look at right now. All right, White House, what is Office of the Press Secretary revealing? A statement from the Press Secretary. This was on June 26th. Today is June 27th, 2017. The United States has identified potential preparations for another chemical weapons attack by the Assad regime that would likely result in the mass murder of civilians, including innocent children. The activities are similar to the preparations the regime made before its April 4th, 2017 chemical weapons attack. By the way, there is no proof for that. As we have previously stated, the United States is in Syria to eliminate the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. Well, so is Russia but they're invited, we are not. Why can't the United States then operate then from just Jordan? Why do they have to cross the line? Thought of, keep these thoughts in mind. If, however, Mr. Assad conducts another mass murder attack using chemical weapons, he and his military will pay a heavy price. When we get into this prophecy in a little bit, you're gonna find out, you know, the Eternal Father, God of heaven, the God of Israel is watching and he sees who's really the one doing these chemical weapons attacks. As Aaron Erdem said, the Turkish parliament member, a NATO member, an ally of the United States, who stated that the Turkish government intentionally allowed ISIS militants to carry chemical weapons, sarin gas inside of Syria and do the attack on a civilian population with the intent to blaming the Syrian government, the Syrian government, President Bashar al-Assad. I don't call it a regime. The man is the, 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 uh, the, the legal president. And in fact, I still get emails all the time, whether it be from Syrians. Today, I've got a letter from a Lebanese lady that watches our channel. I believe she's a Christian, in fact. And she said, we have seen enough death of the Syrian people that is being brought upon it by the United States. Wow, that wasn't my words there. See, she realizes who's backing this groups that are in there trying to overthrow the government. Anyway, let's get into these, these, these interesting things here. Let's go here next. Uh, also, Arut Shiva also speaking on the same story here. Uh, they came out with the article today, activity in Syria base where chemical attacks originated. And again, there was no proof whatsoever either that Syria even did a chemical weapons attack on here in 2017, just a couple of months ago. That also is a lie. Russia wanted their own experts to work with the U.S. experts to determine if there was a validity, as Russian experts said, if it was from any kind of the chemical weapons that was used by Assad originally, it can be identified easily because they removed his stockpile of chemical weapons and they could detect it and tell whether or not it was from his arsenal or some other arsenal. Well, you know what? Interesting. The U.S. didn't want any part of that and wouldn't allow Russia anywhere there. That lets you know it's a little bit suspicious. I hate to say it, friends, you know. I, I, you know, I have always been a diehard American and I have never seen in my life such corruption. But you know what? Is there any difference with you that watch? How many of you really wanted Hillary Clinton to be your president? How many, everybody knew that Hillary Clinton would lead us to war with Russia, something that we did not want to happen. We've seen so much corruption in American politics that it's not even funny. Could we get a Jesse Ventura maybe as a president? Maybe then we could get some, some normalcy in the United States. Uh, instead of all these puppets and showmen out there that they're trying to do. They don't say Jesse Ventura is the best guy either, but the thing is, is he made governor and they drug him into a basement, the CIA agents wanting to know how in the world the guy got into office. Wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Huh, 
Well, who knows? Anyway, I'm on a rant tonight because the prophecy I've seen is clearly going to blow you away. Also, Sputnik News brought out an article here uh, today about the same thing. The Russian senator warns new U.S. attack on Syrian troops. Uh, it's imminent almost from what it looks like. A Russian senator warned in remarks to Sputnik of a news attacks against the Syrian military on Tuesday after the United States said it identified potential preparations for a chemical attack by the Syrian government. The White House in a statement claiming that Syrian President Bashar Assad's government is allegedly reading a, readying for a chemical attack and would likely result in the mass murder of civilians. The U.S. is preparing a new attack on the positions of the Syrian troops. This is clear. A new cynical and unprecedented provocation is being prepared. First Deputy Chairman of the Federation Council Committee of Defense and Security France, uh, Klinovic, said, uh, so he also goes on to say we would be pa passed uh, off as a chemical attack uh, said the new U.S. attack would be passed off as a chemical attack and could be followed by a U.S. strike on a group grouping that is on the verge of construct, uh, constructive solution of the situation. Uh, so again, they're showing you, the Russians are already believing this as well, that the U.S. is going to stage it. I think it's just a little bit odd that this time they come out with information beforehand, but yet all the information that's ever proven to the contrary that Assad did it, and nobody wants to admit to that. And while we saw the U.S. in Mosul raining down phosphorus and even admitting to it, a banned substance on civilian populations. They said we were doing it on ISIS. Well, I don't doubt that they're doing it on ISIS, but don't they know that ISIS holds all kinds of prisoners of war? Oh my gosh, people. We, somebody's got to wake up. Somebody's really got to wake up. You know, if you're really going to stand with Israel, then stand with what, what is true. Don't stand with intentionally destroying a country and the people. Remember, we, you know, as believers of Yeshua, it is souls. Just like when people try to say, this is Russian news lives and everything. You know, Russian people are souls as well. Just like Americans, Europeans, Chinese, Filipinos, Africans, whoever they may be, they're human beings. They have souls. Their, their souls are redeemable before God Almighty. You know, and this is what I care about is human beings. I don't care about all the politics and, and the nationalism that's going on in this world today. You know, I mean, I, I am, of course, an Israelite. I am a Hebrew person, a Jew, as you would say, some would say. But the thing is, is what matters to me is human beings everywhere. So why then are we attacking Syria? They're doing it because Adam, Rome itself, is trying to draw Russia into the battle against Israel to justify and say, we have Gog of Magog going on. And who knows? I can't say that Russian politicians are not involved in that as well and playing along with it. Doesn't appear to be from the way that they're reporting on their side. But if you watch what's happening, it is obvious that the U.S. coalition is intending and moving position to take down Damascus and Iran. Is Iran a threat to Israel? Sure they are. They're protesting in the streets today. Mass protests is burning American and Israeli flags and saying down with Israel. Yeah, I know that Iran is a problem. But we didn't have Syrians doing that. Well, you might get it now because Israel keeps bombing the Syrian military. They're only weakening it up is what they're doing. They're weakening the Syrian military so that an invasion from the West, remember the U.S. has troops inside of Lebanon. They sent that huge container there with U.S. troops ready to cross the border. Rob beeline for Damascus. All right, let's take a look at the prophecy. Jeremiah chapter 49, verses 23 and 24. Watch closely. It says, La Damascus which is of Damascus. Hamath is ashamed and Arpad. They're ashamed. They're, or you could say perplexed. For they have heard evil tidings. They are melted away. There is trouble in the sea. It cannot be quiet. Cruise missiles coming in. 
See, they heard an evil report. Damascus is waxed feeble. She turneth herself to flee, and trembling hath seized on her. Anguish and pains have taken hold of her as, a, as of a woman in travail. Now, let's take a look at this. Let's really look at this right here from a prophetic standpoint, because it's what's happening right now. Hamath and Arpad are cities inside of Damascus. Not Damascus, but inside of Syria. These are just other provinces there in the country of Syria. And they have what? They have heard evil tidings or an evil report. And the evil report is what's going to bring about the destruction of Damascus. Well, you want to know what that evil report is? There, there, there you go. Right there. White House Press Secretary. What does he say? Well, the, 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 the Assad, uh, if, the, if he does a chemical weapon attack, his military will pay a heavy price. They're looking for an excuse to attack Damascus to bring Assad down. That's the whole plan. So, in other words, there's other Syrians that have already heard about this. People in Syria from Hamath and Arpad, they heard about this evil report. They are melted away. They're, you know why they're melted away? Because they know that when Damascus falls, that's when the rest of the Syrian population will be overran by al-Nusra, al-Qaeda, the Free Syrian Army, all these militaries here that have been backed by Saudi Arabia, Turkey, who is supposedly pretending like they're an ally to Russia. What a bunch of garbage. Why Russia ever let them in is beyond me to begin with. But I see Russia's trying to keep peace. I don't know. I, can't, I, don't say that, I don't say that President Putin is some knight in shining armor and some angel or deliverer. I don't call him no Cyrus like I don't call President Trump a Cyrus either. Because both men have puppeted down to the Vatican to begin with. The only difference is, is I think that Putin is being duped into what's going on and being completely deceived because he don't have the revelation to understand that they are manipulating his country to do an attack on Israel. So this is why I'm against it. I go to the source though. I'm not here to play games. I'm not here to say Russia's Gog, the big bad boogeyman are going to blow up Israel. Well, you know what? No doubt Russia will probably attack Israel and my own people will suffer and die. My own kindred. I have kin people that live there in that country right now. My blood, my flesh, I have my family members in the Israeli military that will die as a result of an attack like that. But you know what? They're doing it intentionally. And they're being puppeted by Rome. So you want to know who the source is? And let me go back into this for you later. Because look at look there, just verse 22, alone. Behold, he shall come up and swoop down as the vulture and spread out his wings against Basra. And the heart of the mighty men of Edom at that day shall be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. He's, you know, Edom is the one that brings these evils about. And God is going to judge Edom for what she's done. Because, yeah, they'll use Russia inadvertently. All they got to do is make sure that they accidentally bomb Russian troops over there. Then Russia will bomb Israel. Certainly they will. Iran will too. And people think I'm not for my own people. You better believe I'm for Israel. But what really irritates me the most is when the U.S. coalition is intentionally inciting violence that will cause the nations to come against Israel as a result. Because at the end of the day, they will blame Israel the most. And unfortunately, we have some politicians in the Israeli government that are not very spiritual. And they will pander to Rome. I don't know what they're getting for it, but they're going to pander to Rome just the same. So, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really on edge when I see these things happening, friends. And all I can do is warn you. All I can do is try to tell you what's going on. You know, they're, they're, every government on this earth we know is controlled by the devil. That's why I'm, I'm no Russian fan as far as thinking Russia some saints in shining armor. And those of, uh, those of us out there that think that, American, uh, that America is some knight in shining armor, that, that's just a, an illusion as well. Because Jesus was taken up on, uh, up on a high place there, showed all the kingdoms of the world. And Satan said, they're mine, I'll give them to you, to give, give them to you if you bow down and worship me. 
all the kingdoms of the world, right? Okay, that didn't leave out the United States, even though it wasn't formed as of yet, because he showed him everything that ever was and ever will be, and he would have gone, he's going to give it all to him. But you know what? He wouldn't pander for the devil. No, sir, he wouldn't. He's not a clown, right? So it doesn't matter which country it is. And when the devil has control of them, I don't care if it's his alien beings that have been able to live long enough to be able to make sure they're controlled by whatever little puppets they put in, their, in the White House or in the Kremlin or in Israel, Israeli politics or whatever. You know, God had a way of leading Israel, and that was by his prophet Samuel. Wasn't no puppets or nothing like that. In fact, God didn't want a king in there either. God had a way of leading Israel. But Israel has become like the rest of the nations. And that's why we have corruption. Don't worry. God will clean it up before long. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Sure.